Oh, we got it. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to Jurassic Park, the game, where today we're going to be starting up episode three, The Deaths. And yeah, we're just going to hop right into it. I really don't have too much to say here. So, yeah. Let's watch this. Did the helicopter do that? It's okay. I think we're okay. Oh my god, those poor people. We have to get down from here and away from these raptors. Now. I know. The important thing is to remain calm. We have time to figure this out. No, we don't. Yeah, the raptors! Look! God, they're trying to bring the tower down. It'll hold. It's got to. Yeah, well, I don't want to take any chances. We're lucky that chopper didn't kill us all. <laughs> I don't feel so lucky. How you holding up, honey? I want to go home. I know, sweetheart. Me too. We'll be fine. I promise. We need to get off the tower before the raptors bring it down. The emergency ladder's right there. The way the tower is tilting, it will put us down outside the paddock. Well, that's a start, but the fence isn't much of an obstacle for the raptors. Where do we go once we're out? I think we can make it to the utility tunnels, right over there. We can lock the raptors out if we can beat them inside. I hope you're right. Okay. Let's get that ladder lowered. Uh, it's gonna be quick time events, guys. Gotta be careful here. There's that should free it up. It won't budge. It's brand new, so it might still be a little stiff. Maybe if you put more weight on it? What? You mean stand on it? Yes, ride it down. Okay, but we should probably be ready to move as soon as it comes down so we can stick together. Okay. Um, Let's go check out up here then. Maybe there's something we can look at. That wire is live. Don't want to get shocked. What's taking so long? I'm trying to figure out what to do with the live wire. Um. Okay, let's just go for this. I don't know what to do with that. It might not be something I can use yet so let's uh sweetheart listen I want you to be ready to climb down the ladder as soon as it's extended okay dad dr. Sorkin I'll be right down uh, it's really stuck oh no I see the problem the whole ladder is just slightly bent it can't slide freely we might be able to force it, it must have been the crash looks that way I think we're going to need a crowbar or something to get it open. Oh, well, then we're going to have to get creative because there are no tools up here. Okay, so that's what that thing on the top was for. But. Okay. Uh, we really didn't have many options. And do I have a timer right now? No, I don't. Okay. Do you think the others are okay? Maybe, sweetheart. But we shouldn't get our hopes up. This antenna could be just the thing we need to pry the ladder open. But if I try to grab it now, I could get electrocuted. Dr. Sorkin, that antenna is the only thing up here I've seen that we can use to pry the ladder open. Is there any way to turn the power to those lights off so I can grab it? Not from up here. 
The aircraft alert beacons aren't ever supposed to be disabled. The best I can do is make them flash on and off. How? I can switch them from nighttime to daytime operation. They shine continuously at night, but during the day they flash to provide more contrast. Okay. Okay, I've switched the beacon lights to daytime mode. Hopefully that wire won't be live while the lights flash off. <gasps> Got it. Got it. Okay. Now we should be able to pry the ladder and get down. This is where the quick time events really are going to start. I got a feeling I'm going to die to a raptor at I least. I couldn't move it by jumping on it. I'm never going to pry it by myself. Dr. Sorkin? Yes? Can you give me a hand with this? You pry while I put my weight on the ladder. Certainly. Okay, this is where things are going to get scary. Let's be ready. Okay, Hands Dr. on the Sorkin, controller. Jess, honey, you get ready to move as soon as the ladder goes down. I'm ready, Dad. Just hurry. Okay, Dr. Sorkin. On three. Ready? One, two, three. I barely noticed the bee on the right-hand oh, side. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Dad, what are we going to do? Try again. On three. Ready? One, two, three. No, just wait. No. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. I'm fine, Dad. Everyone run. Your turn, Dr. Sorkin. Right. I'm coming down. That's holding. Dr. Sorkin, you have to hurry. Out of the way. I'm going to jump for it. Okay, now up and over. Okay, we got this. Am I playing okay. as Sorkin right now or as the group? I think it's as a group. Run, Dr. Sorkin! Oh, I'm probably as Sorkin because look, she stayed behind. I got a feeling there's going to be some complicated. Oh, just barely. I, I wasn't expecting it to have me do both of them, honestly. Jump, Timmy! So we jumped. Next time I get a headache like this, there better be tequila involved. No way, amigo. This turned out better than the last time you drank tequila. Yeah, you might be right. The girl I woke up next to is prettier, anyway. <laughs> so, we lost our ride, and the only person we managed to rescue so far doesn't even work for InGen. Now what? See if you can find anything useful in the wreck. And make sure the girl's okay while I scout the perimeter. Okay. Dad, I left my AK inside the chopper. It's probably toast. Glad I didn't leave a round chambered. Could have killed someone. Uh, have you ever heard of something called burn off? Cook -off was a hell of a show. Oh, cook off. Sorry. He had it. He said it was a hell of a show. So that did happen. So they did at least mention something about cook off. Um, and if you guys are wondering what cook off is, it's when uh, take more rounds basically get hot enough that the gunpowder inside ignites, we don't want to be anywhere nearby, and they go off. All our weapons were in there. I was just getting used to that AK, too. Looking pretty safe. One more look, just to be sure. Am I missing anything? <sighs> no fuel left. Must have been a hell of a blast. That chopper's done all the exploding she's ever gonna do. Should be safe to make camp here. I don't think so, my man. I should see if the girl's okay. She's probably the one that caused. Oh no, yeah, no, she is the one that caused the helicopter to crash. Because remember, she threw a knife Oscar into the might console. Oscar want to talk to her when she wakes up. Let's postpone that little reunion. Anything? Ooh, I can check her bag. Oh, I bet he's gonna find the Dino DNA. He's gonna find the shaving cream. Wow, 
Yeah. I have a can just like this back in San Jose. Oh, man. I hope it's not for her face. Heavier than I remember. Could just be full, I guess. It's only sloshing at the top. Sounds half empty, feels full. Why is that? My stepbrother used to store his second set of keys in a fake pop can. I wonder. Oh, she the lady found has a it. Stash. But what the hell is it? Oh, that's the T Rex. Damn it, Oscar. I only have one pair of pants. The chopper's not gonna blow, but just about everything in it, including our weapons, is flame-broiled. No game trails, no nests. This is base camp for now. Hey, get this. I found this can of shaving cream in her pack. Didn't think you needed any. Yeah, whatever you say, fuzzy. Except it's not really shaving cream. Look. Hmm. So, now what's the plan? That shaving cream can looks like some real CIA stuff. What do you think she's up to? Ask her when I ain't around. If she won't tell you, I'll make her talk my way. You gonna try to salvage this gig? Yeah. I'm gonna go look for our friends. Uh, shouldn't I come with? We lost the guns. Means I gotta be in stealth mode. <laughs> you saying I can't sneak? I'm saying neither one of us can sneak and watch her at the same time. Besides, she won't talk with me around. But maybe pretty boy Billy can get her to open up. Yeah, it's a tough job. <laughs> They did a number on the base of that tower. They're figuring this out door handles. They open doors. Oh. Stayed in bed. Is that a fourth raptor? I thought there was only three. supposed to do here oh okay I had to hit that so many times Should get moving. Locked. Smart. Okay, Oscar, I. I really hope we don't have to get into hand-to-hand -hand combat with a raptor. Shut the door. Just shut the door behind you.
Ay, Dios mío. Oh, my mother. They left me alone. Idiotas. At least one of them pulled me out of there. Not sure I'd do the same. Okay, anything else? I bet I have to check the pack, yeah. Where's the cane? Nieta, no, no, no! Looking for this? That's mine! You know, this takes me back. I learned to shave with this stuff. Give it back! Now! I'm all out of shaving cream myself. You mind if I borrow some? Stop shaking it! But you're supposed to shake it before you use it. Says so right on the can. You want to tell me what's so important about shaving cream? Or do I ask Injin? Dinosaur embryos. If you drop them, they'll be destroyed. Embryos, huh? Wow. I knew you were up to something, but this, this is pretty clever, I gotta admit. InGen's gonna love me for bringing this back. Talk about a bonus. Look, Yoder. Philly, right? Maybe we can make a deal. This ought to be good. Shoot. There's a lot of money in it for you if I get those embryos to my contact before they go bad. You turn that over to Injin. You get a pat on the back, maybe a little Christmas bonus. You leave it to me, you become a rich man. Pay off your debts, quit your job. No more guys in suits telling you what to do. Just think about it. Okay, keep talking. Please. I don't expect you to trust me, but the right thing to do is to give it back to me and let me go. I have a daughter. I need the money to get her out of the ghetto. You know what happens to girls there. She doesn't deserve that life. Are you for real? Come on, Billy. The money's good. And you'll be helping me save my daughter. Everybody gets a little something. Okay, here's the deal. One, I'm in charge. I keep the embryos. And as soon as it's safe to break away, we'll deliver them to your contact. I don't know if the embryos will last in there much longer. That's a risk we're gonna take. Two, we're cutting Oscar in. Why? Because he's my partner, that's why. It'll be fine. Trust me. Now sit tight and lighten up. Not every woman gets to enjoy the sunset on a tropical island with Billy Yoder. We're getting a bunch of achievements right now. Also, Billy's face. I'm also starting to, like, actually remember who they're called. Because, uh, Billy and Oscar, I kept so, on getting their names mixed where up. We are in relation to the rest of the park? We're not far from the marine exhibit. I know for a fact that the phone there is in working order, or at least it was this morning. Can we get there from the tunnels? I believe so. All right. They then. have a marine the exhibit. Way. Want to get us out of here as soon as possible? Oh, I guess no yeah. That's what they show magic, it in the fourth okay? episode. I understand. Or in the preview. Well, as long as we're getting no one another, how is it that Dr. Wu became chief geneticist over you? That's an easy one. Frogs. You're saying frogs kept you from getting promoted? Specifically, their DNA. Before we could clone any dinosaurs, we had to decide how to fill in the gaps in the DNA sequences we found. I remember this from the tour. You found dino blood inside mosquito fossils, right? That's right. I wanted a complete prehistoric genome, cross-referencing all of the DNA found in the various amber samples. It would have been safer, but would have taken time the board of directors didn't want to spend. Well, even Dr. Hammond's spare-no-expense philosophy has limits, I guess. 
Exactly. Henry, Dr. Wu, proposed using frog DNA to fill in the gaps. It was risky. We still don't know all of the effects. But it was a solution, and a fast one at that. So Henry became chief geneticist, and I took to the field. So, Laura, I've been meaning to ask you, why don't you do your radio show anymore? You had a radio show? Well, it wasn't really radio. I'd hack into the park intercom and play choice cuts from my record collection. Lately, I haven't had the time. Did you really have to show Artie Bridges how to do it? Believe me, I regret it. But how was I to know how bad he was? He begged me, said it was his dream to be in radio. You know what, he should stick to managing the janitorial group. He's awful. He certainly is. I guess there was a reason Ooh, it was Raptor just got a dream. That rat. He actually records his show ahead of time so that he can broadcast during work hours. Did you guys hear that? Sounded like a rat. Mm-hmm. Dinosaurs aren't the only invasive species InGen brought to the island. There are lots of rats in these tunnels. Maintenance is always setting traps down here. Are you sure we shouldn't head to the visitor center, Dr. Sorkin? InGen is bound to start there when they don't hear from the rescue team. These tunnels don't run all the way to the visitor center, and I don't know about you, but I'd rather not risk any more overland travel. Good point. Don't worry, Jess. We should be safe in here. Where do all these doors lead? The maintenance corridors. The park's essential systems are in there. Uh, electrical, water, air conditioning, you know, that sort of thing. The tunnels on this side are for transporting animals, personnel, and food. That's why they're so big. They are separate from the maintenance side to prevent accidents. Has anyone seen my cigarettes? I could swear I had some. I didn't realize you smoked. Yes. Normally I manage to duck out a few times a day, but we've been preoccupied. Where did you last have them? Right here in my pocket, or so I thought. Maybe they fell out when we jumped from the water tower? I suppose. Oh well, I'm probably better Are they in Jess's hand? <laughs> I swear that, I swear she had a pack of cigarettes in her hand. <laughs> she does! <gasps> A little thief. Do you mind if we stop for a rest? My legs are killing me. I suppose we could all use a break. I don't know how much longer those embryos will last. We need to meet my contact at the boat. We're staying here until Oscar gets back. We don't even know if he's alive. Oscar's fine. He's coming back. And come hell or high water, we are not leaving. Okay, so the two of them just yelling is pretty much detracted the T-Rex. Then again, maybe you have a point. Come on, we gotta run! No time! Hide! Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Got spotted. Leaving now. Didn't they say they clocked the T Rex at twenty miles per hour? Oh, then you got the raptor just sneak it like you know, just sneaking peeking in through the window. Care for a lysine supplement? No thanks. Well, you know what? Actually, you know what? Maybe I will. All this running around, my muscles probably need whatever protein I can give them. My thoughts exactly. I haven't gotten this much exercise since Carnival. I guess we've got a lot of extra lysine now that the parasaurs don't need the external supply. Yeah, uh, about that. It's not just the parasaurs. 
we added the antidote to the main water supply. But that'll reach every dinosaur in the park. The Lysine contingency... You're insane! Denying the dinosaurs lysine was the only safety mechanism we had to keep them out of the global ecosystem! We've already denied them the right to breed. That's their death sentence. Yes, but who knows how much damage they can do before then? A single brachiosaur can destroy as much jungle in one day as a whole herd of elephants. I can imagine the impact a group of them would have on a rainforest. These animals are now part of the global ecosystem, whether we like it or not. We can't expect them to exist outside of it. There's not an environment on Earth, including this one, that can maintain equilibrium with, with these animals around. Invasive species, it, it doesn't even begin to describe the problem. Do I need to remind you that there are 120 miles of ocean between Isla Nublar and the mainland? The Lysine contingency was cruel and unnecessary. Tell me this. Did you reverse the Lysine contingency with the Pteranodons? No. My formula targets superorder Dinosauria exclusively. If I'd tried to account for the Pteranodons, I might have affected other reptiles. Oh, at least there's that. Now that I think about it, though, targeting only Pteranodons, or any one species, would be a simple change. I wouldn't even need a full lab. Am I gonna have to ask Jess to follow you into the ladies' room? It won't come to that. If I decide to do it, I won't sneak around, and I won't involve you. I'm sorry if the way I went about it last time upset you. Well, thanks for the apology, I guess, but this isn't about me. Do you know for a fact that none of these animals can swim? Oh, come on, Jerry. It's how Asian elephants migrated to Sri Lanka from India. There's precedent. You're being ridiculous. There's no evidence sauropods were swimmers. None. All right. Supposing there's a dinosaur that can swim. I find it highly unlikely that one could make it through 120 miles of open water through ocean currents, sharks... Highly unlikely? 20 years ago, would you ever have predicted dinosaur cloning? Ever. 20 days ago, would you have predicted a complete failure of all our park security? Is what I fear that hard to imagine? No. I suppose not. The remote possibility that a dinosaur could make it to the mainland? is far outweighed by our responsibility to treat these animals humanely. They're here because of us. Look, let's just agree to disagree for now. But I'll have to tell InGen when this is all over. I understand. Are you guys done yet? Jess, where'd you go? Just <laughs> down the hall looking at stuff. Not that you noticed, I was gone. I'm sorry, honey, I was distracted. But don't go off again like that, okay? Yeah. She snuck okay. off the smoke. No good. Here it comes. Go! It's gaming! Gotta change it up. The gate. Chase him! <laughs> Not like that T- Oh, you ran right out of Raptor. <sighs> Come on. Nice, tasty dinosaur. <sighs> Stay still. Stay still. I'm trying. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. I didn't even notice that one pop up. 
I almost missed Do these it. these things ever stop eating? Move! Oh! Did she just do a front flip? Nice moves out there. Like a ballet dancer or something. Uh, thanks. Damn, you're lucky. You ought to forget our deal and buy a lottery ticket. The embryos. Yeah, yeah, relax. I, uh, I, um... You lost it. You oh. Lost it? it must this... have fallen out. <sighs> Billy the Butterfingers. Oscar is literally hunting the raptors. That's right. Go. Locked. Good. If I can't open it. They can't either. Last thing I need is for those things to see me better. Now there's the place to hide. She should just get up on the catwalk. Here they come. It wasn't exactly a leisurely stroll over here. You dropped it. You find it. Hold your horses. That T-Rex is still out there. Oh, it's eating. Okay, so we know where it is. Go get it! Yeah, I think I'll wait until our friend there leaves to find a new chew toy. I don't know if we have time. If the embryos go bad, they're worthless! The embryos are worthless to me if I get eaten by a damn lizard. If you're not man enough to get the embryos back, I'll do it myself. Hang on. The deal is, I hold on to the embryos until we reach your contact. I know! And instead, you drop them! Yeah, well, crap. If you're gonna use logic, just go and hurry. Okay. Damn it, Billy, get it together. Just take it slow and don't get I, I I jumped the gun. Gotta slow down. a nice girl like you to a place like this. Got it! Open the door, open the door! Oh, we got it. Woo! Green lit. <laughs> I got it. Somebody tell Carl Lewis I got some training tips for him. Okay, great. Nice moves out there. Hey, thanks. 
almost makes up for dropping it in the first place. Alrighty, guys. So, I'm going to decide to call it here for now for this episode. So, if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying it, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And yeah, this has been Guns Shimori signing off. Peace.